This conference will now be recorded. God bless you and good morning. Give God the praise. Give God the glory. Give God the highest praise. How I many you know when the praises go up, the blessings come down? Amen. As the psalmist said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. If I was in the choir procession this morning, that's what the song I would be leading. I was glad when they said unto me, I was glad when they said unto me, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. It was joy when they said unto me, it was joy when they said unto me, it was joy when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be made glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Are you glad to be here today? Are you glad to be one more in the number one more time? Aren't you glad this morning? I got a personal testimony. The clock didn't wake me up this morning. I got a praise this morning. Nobody had to come and shake me. Amen. But I felt the touch of the hand of the living God and my eyes became open. So glad it was early before dawn. It was early this morning on the Lord's day. I got up with praise in my heart and with thanksgiving in my tongue. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. We thank you that you allowed us to see another day. Hallelujah. We come to give you praise. Amen. We may not be, oh God, in the sanctuary this morning, but we're in the land of the living, oh God. We are really in the land of the dying on our way to the land of the living. Amen. But one more time, you've allowed us to be in the number one more time. God bless you today. Amen. We give God praise for he's worthy to be praised. Amen. I don't know about you. I don't know what you come to do. But I come to praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We greet you with Jesus joy today. Amen. I, I, I know how we're going to start, but I don't know how we're going to end. Amen. We may have an order of worship, but how many of you know when the Holy Ghost take over? Amen. Amen. You may start out one way, but the Holy Spirit can carry you in another way. But it's all good. Amen. Because we, we are in God's care. We greet you. Amen. We give honor to the Spirit of Christ, to our ministerial staff to a minister patricia graham uh, minister julia hayes to evangelist cooper to all our officers chairman brian and all the deacons to our deaconess rosa brian all our deaconesses our trustees chairman Bro jake mciver all our trustees to our mother's ministry amen to all the disciples of the lord jesus christ who assembled at great essential amen to all of the of all of god's children throughout this world we thank you to our visitors and to our friends we greet you this day with the love of Jesus. Amen. I got the love of Jesus in my heart. Amen. I'm glad about that. One thing you can tell a child of God. Amen. Amen. Not so much what they say with their mouth, but how they live. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. By this, all men shall know that you are my disciples, that you have love one for another. Amen. Love is the key. Amen. Love is the key. Love is the sign. So we greet you today. Amen. We have a dynamic morning of order of worship that's going to uh, bless our hearts today. We have people that's, amen, willing to, to worship. Amen. I thank God for not just uh, spectators, but participators in worship. This is the first Sunday of a brand new month, the ninth month of 2020. Amen. As we hasten moving close to an, uh, the end of the year, we're so close, but yet so far away. So we just thank God that he allowed us to come together on the first Sunday of September. Amen. Uh, the Lord's Supper will be celebrated today. Amen. We will remember what he has done for us on Calvary. God bless your heart. We're going to have uh, our scripture reading by our, our sister Edna uh, Curram. Amen. I call her Mother Curram. Amen. Amen. Then we're going to have our congregational hymn by our sister, Minister of Music, May Revell. Amen. At the cross. Then we're going to be led in prayer by evangelist Evelina Cooper. God bless her heart. Amen. Then we're here, have a selection by our very own brother, Chris 
Campbell. Amen. In that order, let's let's worship. Amen. Let's worship the Lord. Mother Karam, come on and read the scripture for us this morning. Good morning, everyone. That's giving your honor to giving honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life. To our pastor, Reverend Frank Hawking. To our chairman, Deacon Bryan and Deacon MacGyver. To Minister Graham, Minister Hayes, Evangelist Cooper, the Mother's Lord, Jesse, Deacon and Deaconess, and my brothers and sisters in Christ. This morning I will be reading from Isaiah 25, verses 1 through 9. O oh Lord, thou art my God, I will exalt thee, I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. For thou hast made a city and heap of a defensed city of ruin, a palace of strangers to be no city. It shall never be built. Therefore shall the strong people glorify thee. The city of the terrible nations shall fear thee. For thou hast been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress a refuge from the storm, a shadow from the heat. When the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm against the wall, thou shalt bring down the noise of strangers as the heat in a dry place, even the heat with the shadow of a cloud. The branch of the terrible ones shall be brought low. In this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fat things, a feast of wines on the leaves, of fat things full of marrow, of wines on the leaves well refined. He will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death in victory and the Lord God will wipe away tears from off the faces and the rebulk of the people shall he take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken it, and it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. He will. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. The words of the Lord are already blessed. God bless you for the reading of that word, Isaiah 25. Thank you, Mother Karen. God bless you. Sister May, will you lead us in our congregational hymn? Praise the Lord, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Allah and my Savior please and did my sovereign die would he devote that sacred head for such a worm as I at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith. I receive my sight, and now I am happy all the day. But drops of grief can never repay the depth of love. I give myself away till all 
that I can do. Hallelujah. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart roll away. It was there by faith I received my sight. And now I am happy all the day. Oh, oh, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart roll away. It was there. By faith, I receive my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Hallelujah. At the cross, at the cross, come on, bless the name of the Lord, where I Received my sight and the burdens of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith. I received my sight. And now I'm happy all the day. Thank you, Sister May. Amen. Evangelist Cooper, would you lead us to the throne of grace this morning? God bless you. And good bless morning. You. Protocol has already been established. God bless. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, another communion day, a communion Sunday, the Lord's Supper. Anoint a fresh man of God who's preaching the word of God. As we hear your message from the word of God, our faith will be increased. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. God bless you, Evangelist. Thank you for that word. Amen. Intercede. Amen. We start faith. Amen. We all need the Lord this morning. Amen. My, the says, my faith looks up to thee, thou Lamb of Calvary, Savior divine. Now hear us as we pray. Take all our guilt away. Oh, let me from this day be holy thine. God bless you. Amen. Our brother Christopher Campbell now will come and bless our hearts. Amen. With us. Selection. God bless you, Brother Campbell. Get right, church, and let's go home. 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 Come on. Get right, church, and let's go home. Yeah, get, get right, right, church, and let's go home. Get right, church, get right, church. Oh, get right, church, and let's go home. Because we're going home. Because I'm going home on the morning train. Yes, I am. I'm going home on the morning train. I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm going home on the morning train. Yes, children, I'm going home on the morning train. I'm going home on the morning train. I'm going home. Going home. Yeah, I'm going home on the morning train. Listen, uh, one of these mornings, and it won't be long. You look for me, and I'll be gone. I'm going to heaven just to. Jump and shout, and nobody's there gonna pull me out. Gonna get that heavy, gonna pull on my shoes. Walk me out heaven and tell the news. I know my road's gonna win me well. Cause I'm traveling on at the gate of hell. And if you don't believe I've been redeemed, you can follow me down to the burning street corner. Pick up David in the heat of the day, yeah. Tune, 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 tune up my heart, 
singers amen amen we need to sign them up right now amen if you, if you don't have a manager we'll sign you up god bless you i believe that was the reed sisters working along with brother campbell god bless y'all y'all blessed our hearts this morning there's a message in the song get right and let's go home amen we're on our way to the pilgrim land amen god bless you amen i almost thought that was ray charles and the ray Letts. amen amen god bless you God bless you, Dr. Campbell. Keep on singing. We haven't heard the last of y'all yet. Amen. Keep on singing. God bless you today. You blessed our soul. We thank God for each and every one. Thank you, Mother Curran, for that scripture, 25th chapter Isaiah. What a mighty word. What a mighty word. Thank you, Evangelist, for the prayer. Uh, asking God to, amen, take over the service. Amen. This is his service. This is when we are his people. Thank you, amen, evangelist, and thank you, choir, choir, amen, Brother Campbell, for that selection, amen. Our announcements are brief this morning. Just a few announcements I want to share with the people of God uh, on this coming Tuesday, uh, September the 9th, amen. We're going to have a praise and petition service, amen. I think we'll start at 7 p.m., amen. We're going to start at 7 p.m. A praise and petition service, amen, at 7 p.m. We go for one hour, if the Lord say so, amen. We're going to lead this service, amen, a praise and petition, amen, from uh, from January uh, 1st up until September the 9th. If you got something you just want to praise God for, you can get on the line and tell the Lord thank you, amen. You know, we is, many of us have been through a whole lot, amen, but we're still here. Amen. And then yet we have gone uh, eight months into the ninth month and we still have uh, three to four months to go. That means we have to walk the rest of the year by faith. And if you want to petition God, to ask God to do some things in your life, in your community, in this state, in our church, amen, and for our country, amen, we can petition God. We have not because we ask not. The Bible say ask and it shall be given. Seek and we shall find, knock and the door shall be open. So I believe that's what we should do. Either you can praise or you can petition God through prayer, but he'll be on the main line. Tell him what you want, amen. Uh, last Tuesday night, we're grateful for 81 saints to join in on our Bible study, amen. 81 saints on a Tuesday night, I can rejoice, amen. And then that most prolific verse was Psalm 19. Amen. We, we, we quote it all the time, but verse 14, Psalm 19, verse 14, which simply said, let the words of my mouth, meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. You know, he's our redeemer. He saves, he keeps us. Amen. He's our rock. 
and we thank God for the word of God. We'll continue, uh, brothers and sisters, our virtual online services as we moving forward. Normally, we, we would return. We were, if we were in the sanctuary, we would return to our worship at 11 a.m. or next Sunday morning. But I believe since we're online and everything is going pretty good, I can talk with the officers and they're in agreement that we'll continue our online service at 10 a.m. Amen. We'll keep it at 10 a.m. so that you can enjoy the morning and you can enjoy the rest of the day. And when we return to the sanctuary, we have a target date of the first Sunday in November that we'll return to the sanctuary. Then we'll go back to 11 a.m. Amen. But while we're on virtual online, amen, it's a good thing to get up and spend morning time with the Lord. Amen. Can I get a witness? So we'll continue next Sunday at 10 a.m. And we'll see you Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Let's keep in prayer our sick and our shut in. Our sister Lois uh, McNeil, she's at uh, uh, Mount Sinai Hospital. I spoke with her. Let's keep her in prayer. She's gone through some physical ailments, but God is a keeper. Let's keep our brother Charles Hubbard in prayer. I spoke with him on yesterday. He's in a rehab uh, facility. They moved him out of Montefiore up to Co-op City, but he said he's his hand is in God's hand as they work on him to get his strength back. Let's keep our mother Lavinia Brown in prayer. Amen. All our mothers. Let's keep mother Eunice Durant in prayer. Mother Edith Elizabeth Wright, President Elizabeth Wright. Amen. Our mother Lonnie Pinckney, 101, going on 101, Mother Lonnie Pinckney. Our mother, Elise Cook, who's already 101, amen. Our mother, Queenie Quick, who's 101, amen. Our mother, uh, Janie Reed, our mother, Callie Knight, our mother, Lillian Saunders, our mother, uh, Naomi Austin, all these seasoned women of God, amen. Let's just hold them up in prayer, amen. We pray for them that God will keep them strong and women of wisdom, amen, virtuous women, amen, that we can model after. God bless each and every one of our mothers, and we're going to add some more mothers in the near future, amen. The Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away, but blessed be the name of the Lord, amen. Then I'm going to ask you, the church family, let's keep our uh, the Bryant family in prayer, our, especially our deaconess, uh, Rosa Bryan, who's the president of our Deaconess Ministry, uh, these past few days have been what we would call sweet bitter or bitter sweet in her life. Uh, on Thursday, uh, she was blessed to see another birthday. Amen. God blessed us to see another birthday this past Thursday. Also on this past Thursday, Amen. Also on this past Thursday, her and Deacon Bryan, our chairman, was blessed to celebrate. 60 years of holy matrimony. Amen. Give the Lord some praise. Uh, tell Ashley, come on up. Give the Lord uh, 60 years. Amen. One man and one woman. Amen. God bless you. So they celebrated 60 years. Amen. And we thank God for them. But on this past Friday, her sister uh, had gone home to be with the Lord. Amen. Uh, uh, battle fought victory won. Uh, she had transitioned on Friday morning. Uh, from labor to reward. So let's keep the Bryant family in prayer. There's no uh, arrangements as of yet, but we want to be supportive to the Bryant family. Uh, you know, they are, they're with us all the way, not only in words, but in their actions and in their prayers. So whatever we can as a church family support, uh, uh, Deacon S. Rosa Bryant and our chairman, Deacon Frank Bryant, let's be ready to do that part. But most of all, let's keep them in prayer. Amen. Also, we want to uh, uh, keep our uh, community outreach. Amen. Our community outreach, I, I gave a note that on this coming Friday, uh, September the 11th at 1230, uh, this is mostly for our members. We have a few uh, backpacks that they want to give away. So if you want to come down to the church at 1230, between 1230 and 3 o'clock, they have some backpacks that they want to give away to our young folks who are returning to school. And I, as on that note, I ask, let us keep our young children in prayer as they, uh, there's still some uncertainty, but they'll, they'll return. This is the school season that they'll be returning. Uh, let's pray for them. Let's definitely pray for them, whether they be remote or on in class is a lot of controversy, but it's also for the well-being and the safety of our children. 
not only just pray for them, but pray for the teachers, the faculties, all those that have anything to do with the education of our children. This is definitely uncertain time. Amen. With this coronavirus uh, in pandemic still in the land, uh, they don't have no cure for the condition, no solution for the problems, and still no answers to many questions. So let's pray for our young people that God will cover them and keep them safe under his blood. Amen. And then last but not least, I got to talk with my daughter, Jasmine. Amen. She solicited the prayers. Amen. She definitely have her father's prayer. But, you know, when, when, when a child say pray for me, amen, you know, I'm going to God, but I'm going to also go to the saints. Amen. She said, Daddy, I'm going down. I'm getting down to the last mile of the way. Amen. Uh, this is where the rubber is going to meet the road. She's about to Amen. This is her last year to uh, achieve that PhD, that doctorate degree. And she'll be going before council on tomorrow. Amen. Uh, a verbal defense. Amen. So we know that God can do anything but fail. We know that uh, he can bring back to your remembrance anything and everything. Amen. So we ask that, you know, she's my she's my daughter and my wife's daughter, but she's also a product of greater central. Amen. Amen. When she go get up that and get up on that stand and get that degree. Amen. We speak it. So, amen. We stand with her. Amen. God bless her. So we're going to pray her through when her soul look back and wonder how she got over. She'll know that somebody prayed for her. So I, as as tomorrow, she says, starting tomorrow, she has to uh, go before panels and start defending her cause. Amen. Uh, and so we ask that you. Amen. Just keep her in prayer. Amen. And so we thank God for you, you and you. This is the last uh, Sunday, Sunday uh, for, for our summer. We pray that each and every one of you have a blessed holiday. Amen. As we celebrate this Labor Day weekend with our families, with our friends. And I say to you, if you're traveling, take the Lord with you everywhere you go. We love you today. Amen. I love the Lord. He heard my cry and he pitied my every groan. As long as I live, when trouble rise, I'll hasten to his throne. We won't keep you long today. We're going to hear from a selection from our chairman, uh, Deacon Bryant. We're going to come back and share the word of God with you. We're going to ask our minister Graham to come after the word is preached to uh, have a prayer and the blessing of the Holy Communion. And we're going to break bread together. Amen. We solicit that if you don't already have your uh, bread, your cracker and your grape juice, uh, water. So, amen. Uh, if you have fermented wine. Amen. Something that we can celebrate. The Lord's Supper, what he's done for us on Calvary. Amen. We, we we take this time on every first Sunday to remember, amen, what Jesus have done for us. Amen. God bless you. So after the prayer, we will go into our commune service. Amen. God bless your heart. I'm ready for the word. Amen. What about you? Deacon Bryant is in your hands now. God bless you. Okay, Deacon Brian, we're ready for you. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, we, we give honor to God who's ahead of my life and to, to my pastor, Minister Graham, Minister Hayes, and to Evangelist Cooper. And to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we're going to try to do for you. He's all over me. <clears throat> Jesus is all, all over me. He's all over me. All over me. And he's keeping, keeping me alive. Keeping me alive. Keeping me alive. He's all over me. All over me, all over me, all over me. He said there's nobody, nobody but Jesus. He said there's nobody, nobody but Jesus. And he's keeping, keeping me alive. Jesus is all, all over me. He's all over me. All over me, 
And he's keeping, keeping me alive, keeping me alive, keeping me alive. It's all over me, all over me, all over me, all over me. Said it's nobody, nobody but Jesus. Said it's nobody, nobody but Jesus. I said, it's nobody, nobody but Jesus. And he's keeping, keeping me alive. I should have been dead, keeping me alive. Sleeping in my grave, keeping me alive. But a duty, keeping me alive. Middle death stood back and delayed, keeping me alive. And early this morning, keeping me alive, stopped by, shook my body, keeping me alive. I said, there's nobody, nobody but Jesus. I said, there's nobody, nobody but Jesus. Oh, nobody, nobody but Jesus. And he's keeping, keeping me alive. Early this morning, keeping me alive. You stopped by my bed, keeping me. Oh, you shook my body, keeping me alive. Nobody but Jesus, keeping me alive. There is nobody, nobody but Jesus. I said, there's nobody, nobody but Jesus. And he's keeping, keeping me alive. Jesus is all, all over me. He's all over me, all over me. And he's keeping, keeping me alive, keeping me alive, keeping me alive. I said, there's nobody, nobody but Jesus. Nobody, nobody but Jesus. Nobody, nobody but Jesus. Said he's bread, nobody but Jesus. Lord, when you are thirsty, nobody but Jesus. And said he's food, my Lord, but Jesus. Oh, when you are hungry, nobody but Jesus. And he's the friend, nobody but Jesus. Lord, when you friend with nobody but Jesus. And he's keeping, keeping me alive. God bless you, D. God bless you. Thank you. Nobody but Jesus. He's all over me, and he's keeping me alive. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand of praise. If you know it ain't nobody but the Lord, amen. He's worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, he's worthy to be praised. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, as we come now, we thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your tender mercy. We thank you for your grace, grace that brought us safe this far and grace that will lead us home. Thank you for your mercy, mercy that, oh God, that looks beyond our faults and seeing our very need. We thank you, oh God, for this day. And even now as we come, as the sower go forth to sow, we pray, oh God, that, oh God, that the word, which is the seed, fall on good grounds today that the word will become fruitful in the life of your people. We ask, oh God, that you use me for your glory. Create within me once again a clean heart and renew the right spirit. I realize that with you, I can do all things, but without you, I can do nothing. Oh God, we walk by faith and not by sight. Strengthen us for the journey. And we be mindful to give your name glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you today. Uh, we're so happy just to be able to come one more time. I pray, oh, even on those series, I didn't start out making it a series last last three weeks. Uh, don't get the big head, amen. I pray 
that that word have been a blessing to you. Amen. We talked about pride. We talked about position. And we talked about prosperity. Those were previous Sundays. Amen. A lot of times people get carried away. Amen. But today I want to share with you from the Old Testament. Amen. M uh, Mother Karen was in the book of Isaiah this morning. This morning, so the pastor is going to stay in the book, amen, of Isaiah. We're going to stay with Isaiah today. We want us to look at, we'd like for you to look at chapter number one, Isaiah chapter number one, and we're going to look at verses 16 through 18. What verse 18? Isaiah chapter one, verses 16 through 18. Reads on this wise, wash you, make you clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do well. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless. Plead for the widows. Verse 18 says, come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be at be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Amen. And for a few moments, I want to leave this thought with you, brothers and sisters. Uh, Jesus' blood, our stain remover. Jesus' blood, our stain remover. Brothers and sisters, can you think of something that you've done wrong and you knew it was wrong, but you did it anyway? It's bad to fall from grace when you know better. Can I get a witness? You knew it was God who was blessing you and providing for you and keeping you, and you still did wrong anyway. I have some good news for you today. For well, that's what the gospel of Jesus Christ is, good news. The gospel is all about it. Jesus' birth, the life, the ministry, crucifixion, and the resurrection of Jesus. The good news is whatever sin you have committed, you can be forgiven. God's word assures us that if we are willing and obedient, Christ's blood will remove our sins. Brothers and sisters, sin is a terrible thing. Let's look at what sin is defined as. Sin is defined as vanity or moral worthlessness. It's an act of wrongdoing, evil devising, false speaking, sin, anything contrary to what God said man should not do, that's sin, on the basis of his revealed principles. Sin, anything that's contrary to the character of God, amen, God is holy. So when you live unholy, that's sin. God is just, so when you have uh, injustice in the land, that's sin. God is love. So when you have a heart that's filled with hatred, that's sin. Uh, sin is coming short of the glory of the mark of the, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Sin is rebellion against God. They use eight words in the Old Testament to describe sin. Sin is evil or bad. That means anything that's harmful. Sin is wickedness. That means moral guilt or loose living. Silk is sin is being guilty, found guilty. Sin is missing the mark. Sin is iniquity, twisting away intentionally from God's straight path. Sin is to err, meaning the sinner in his ignorance was responsible for knowing the law. Sin is wandering away. Amen. Deliberate in your error. Amen. Amen. The old song said, There's a storm out on the ocean and it's moving this way. If your soul is not anchored in Jesus, you'll drift away, amen, amen. Sin is to rebel or to transgress against the word of God, amen. Sin causes pain, sin causes unhappiness, and sin is, is conceived as missing the mark, to cross over the Passover, to go beyond the limits that have been set by God's law or commandments. What caused the fall of man? Man was disobedient when he ate of the forbidden fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. By violating, violating transgression, man fell from the holy and happy state, uh, not by constraint, but 
by choice. And I have some bad news for you, brothers and sisters, if you don't already know it. When it comes to sin, the John, Romans 3.23 still says that for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. Uh, not including themselves. Amen. Uh, I remember some time ago, y'all remember Mother Sarah Chaplin, Sister Chaplin Chaplin, when the pastor would be preaching, she would go down the aisle and said, tell them, Rev, tell them, tell them, Rev, amen. In other words, amen, the pastor was preaching, amen, amen, but the word was for everybody, amen, not just for certain people, amen. We all have to be corrected, amen. We all have to fall in line, amen. We all have missed the mark. We all have come in short, amen. The word of God applies to everybody. Isaiah, the writer of this book, is speaking to the nation of Israel, the northern kingdom, and the southern kingdom, Judah. But primarily, he's ministering at this time to Judah. Isaiah focuses is, is on God's plan of salvation for the whole world, both to Jews and to Gentiles. Isaiah was not like the prophet Jonah. Uh, see, uh, Jonah was only concerned about God and God's people. But God's plan for salvation is for the whole world, for both uh, the Jew and the Gentile. Amen. For anyone who will receive the word of God. You know, brothers and sisters, I tell you the truth. Uh, uh, it's not easy being a prophet. Amen. You may uh, think it's a position of glamour. You may think it's a position of glitter and a position of dignity, but it's not easy. Uh, being the man or woman of God who must proclaim what thus saith the Lord. Um, uh, for when you declare God's message, it's like a swift arrow finding its mark. Um, it will cause people to become restless, ah, become people to cause people to shift in their positions. Um, it'll cause people to clench their fists and it'll cause people to talk about you when you're trying to do what thus saith the Lord. Um, People will become angry ah, and shout back insults and threats against the proclaimer of the word of God. Um, have mercy, Lord. Um, uh, but the prophet role is to speak for God, to confront people and, to, and their leaders with God's commands and promises. The prophet's role is to proclaim the truth. Um, in a prophet life, he or, she, uh, he or she may start out being popular. Have mercy, Lord. Um, but the more you go down the road, um, the more you proclaim what thus saith the Lord. You'll lose some people along the way. Can I get a witness? Um, folk don't want to hear the truth. Um, how many of you know when you tell the truth, the truth will set you free. When you declare the truth, um, it loose the bound, the chains that had you bound. Um, folk, pe people want to walk around being shackled, amen, by sin. But the prophet rolled is to say what does say of the Lord. Um, the first thing you need to know about a prophet is that their ministry focuses on the present as well as the future. Um, they tell forth, um, they tell forth the word of God as well as foretell the works of God. Um, true prophets are like good doctors. Um, they diagnose the case. Um, they prescribe the remedy and warn the patient what will happen if the prescription is ignored? Ignored. Um, let me say that again. A true prophet um, is like having a good doctor. They diagnose your condition. They prescribe the remedy and then warn the patient what will happen if the prescription is ignored. Um, when a prophet declares a vision of the future, he does it to encourage the people of God to obey God's word. Um, in this chapter, Isaiah is talking to Judah, calling them back to God. Isaiah speak words of judgment and punishment for the sins that Judah has committed. Uh, what are some of the things that Judah was guilty of? They were guilty of perverting justice. Um, they were guilty of oppressing the poor. They was guilty of turning away from God to worship idols. Um, and then they was guilty of relying on the hands of man to defend them instead of the arm, the strong arm of God. Um, have mercy, Lord. 
who fought all their battles in the past, um, they had slowly drifted away from God um, and they began to lean on their own understanding. Um, but our text is a great example of God's grace. Um, aren't you glad for God's grace? Um, hallelujah. God's grace don't give you, hallelujah, mercy gives us what we don't deserve. Um, and his mercy don't give us what we do deserve. Um, great God's grace is unmerited. His unmerited favor and his undeserved love. Um, uh, yes, we should receive justice, um, but God gives us another chance. Um, aren't you glad this morning when you lay down last night? Mercy and justice and judgment didn't come to claim you, but grace gave you another chance. Um, to open up your eyes, to, to get it right with God. Um, as the songwriter said, the choir just sung a little while ago, get right, church, and let's go home. That's what grace does. It, it gives you another chance um, to get it right. Um, thank you, Lord, for your grace and mercy. And not only does Isaiah speak words of judgment and punishment, but words of comfort and encouragement and hope. Um, he, he gives God's people a way of escape through confession and repentance. Um, to repent means to be godly sorrow for your sins. Recognize that you have offended God uh, and it's ruining us to your soul. Um, have mercy, Lord. Um, in verse 18, I'll, we won't be long with you this morning. The text simply says, come now, let us reason together. Hallelujah. Meaning uh, uh, God is willing to pardon. Um, meaning God is willing to forgive. Um, God is willing to restore only if you're willing to change um, your ways of doing. Um, God is willing to bless you only if you're willing to change your ways of thinking, meaning that you want to turn back to the ways of God. Um, I still hear 2 Chronicles 7, 14, which simply says, if my people, um, which are called by my name, um, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face um, and turn from their wicked ways, um, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins, um, and heal the land. Um, though your sins um, be as scarlet, um, they shall be white um, as snow. Um, though they are red like crimson, um, they shall be as wool. Um, brothers and sisters, um, scarlet or crimson was the color of a deep red permanent dye um, with this deep stain. Um, impossible to remove um and in my study i found that this color of crimson uh, is derived from berries um obtained from a concenial insect um, which attacks itself to leaves and twigs um, of a calcifier uh oak um brothers and sisters uh that's what life of sin will do the life of sin will stain you to a point where nobody wants to be around you can i get a witness nobody wants to share love with you. That's what sin will do. It'll spot you up. It'll mess you up. It leaves a stain where you become loathsome. Sin leaves a stain on you. And I was, I was thinking this morning, I remember a little story that my wife told me one day. She said when she was visiting, when she was a young child, visiting her grandmother in North Carolina, around eight or nine years old. Um, there was a little boy by the name of Timothy um, who was about the same age. Um, and he would always come out and play with Rosemary and her sister Karen. Um, but one Sunday morning, um, she said it was an Easter Sunday morning. Um, uh, grandma got the girls dressed up, looking pretty and on their way, getting ready to church. Um, and this particular morning, um, little Timothy came over. It was Easter Sunday. He was dressed in his white suit, um, had on a white tie and hallelujah, white shirt and white shoes. Um, but Rose said that she remembered distinctively that Timothy mother told him, don't you go outside um, and don't you play. Um, and don't you know how kids are? They soon as they got outside, um, they start running um, and they start playing. Um, and Timothy started chasing Rose and her sister. Um, and uh, bless the Lord, have mercy, Lord. Um, they was running and, and Timothy was chasing them. But wouldn't you know that Timothy um, slipped and fell. Um, he slipped on the ground. Um, he slipped in the dirt um, and messed up um, his pretty white suit. Um, and you know the rest of the story. 
mama went to town on little Timothy, but that's how sin is. Um, it'll leave a stain on you. Have mercy, Lord. Sin, I don't care how you try to clean it, uh, it leaves a stain on you. Have mercy, Lord. The stain of sin seems to be permanent on your pretty white outfit. Um, but God, um, God is the only one that can remove sin. Uh, can I get a witness? The sin stain um, from our lives. Um, as he promised that he would for Judah. Oh, oh what a friend we have in Jesus. Um, what a all our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. Um, no, not one. No, not one. None else can heal um, our soul diseases. Um, no, not one. Um, no, not one. I stopped to let you know today um, on my way to glory that you don't have to go through life um, permanently stained. Um, hallelujah. You don't have to go through life um, permanently soiled. Whatever sin that you have committed, um, Jesus John said, repent um, and be baptized um, in the name of the Father. Um, John said, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. Um, but there's one um, who cometh after me, um, whose shoes I'm not worthy to unlatch. And he will come um, and he'll baptize you with fire and the Holy Ghost. Um, the power of God um, can change your life. Um, the power of God um, can change your situation. The power of God um, can change you from stainful um, to stainless. Um, we ought to have a stainless life. Um, if you're going to be a child of God, um, what can wash away? my sins um what can make me whole again uh nothing but the blood of, of jesus um, the scarlet and crimson stain was so deep um, that whatever you try to remove it with um, it just won't work um, anything in your natural thinking it just won't work um, you're trying to get sin, sin um out of this white garment um, i stopped to let you know water um, won't wash the way our sin. Um, I stopped to let you know Tide uh, and Fab and Gain and Clorox won't make you clean again. Um, it just won't do it. Um, all your fame and all your money won't clean you from your sin. Um, have mercy, Lord. All your family and all your friends and acquaintances just won't do it. Um, even the sacrifice um, of bullocks and goats um, and lambs and doves, um, it won't clean you from sin um as i go to my seat um in the old testament days um they tried to remove the stain of sin um by offering sacrifices of bulls and doves and lamb in the temples um but they had all kinds of feasts um to remove sin um even king david said purge me with this up um, and i shall be clean um wash me and i'll be whiter than snow um blot out my transgressions um but nothing um, could, hallelujah, clean a person from sin. Um, aren't you glad you ought to rejoice today? Rejoice because of Jesus. Um, we don't have to slay um, the lamb anymore. Um, we don't have to sprinkle um, the blood on the door. Someone have taken um, the place of the lamb. Um, he is um, the great I am. Uh, and I thank God that Isaiah saw mostly um, what the other prophets didn't see. Um, he saw the remedy um, of our sin. Um, we're all spotted. Um, we're all stained. Um, but the prophet had vision. Um, hallelujah. Thank God for vision um, of the prophet. Um, he saw the remedy um, of our sinful situation. For Isaiah said, um, for unto us uh, a child is born. Um, unto us uh, a son is given. Um, and the government shall be uh, upon his shoulders. Um, and his name shall be called wonderful counselor the mighty god everlasting father the prince of peace um, you some call him emmanuel um, some call him the son of david um, i can call him um, jesus um, thou lily of the valley jesus um, our bright and morning star jesus um, our wheel in the middle of the wheel um, jesus our prince of peace um, jesus um, for he was wounded for our transgression um, and bruise for our iniquity. And by his stripes, um, we are healed. Um, Jesus um, is the answer um, for the world today. Uh, 
Jesus, um, whosoever will uh, call on the name of Jesus um, shall be saved. Um, if we confess our sins, um, he's faithful and just to forgive our sins. Hallelujah. Jesus, um, he's the one that paid it all. Uh, all to him we owe. Uh, sin have left a crimson stain, uh, but he washed, I said he washed um, in white as snow. Um, Jesus said, as he sat around the table, breaking bread, hallelujah, and ministering the Lord's Supper, he said, for this is my blood um, of the New Testament, which is shed um, for many um, for the remission um, of sin. Um, thank you, Jesus. Um, thank you, Lord. Um, trust in the Lord um, and do good. Um, he says, cease, hallelujah, to do evil and learn to do good. Seek justice, um, rebuke the oppressor defend the fatherless and, and plead for the widows. Um, you ought to thank God. Um, I said, thank God um, for Jesus' blood. Um, he died um, on Calvary. He died to set our soul free. There is a fountain um, filled with blood um, drawn from Emmanuel's veins. Um, sinners plunge beneath that blood. Um, loose all um, thy guilt and stain. Um, what can wash away our sin? Um, what can make us whole again? Um, nothing but the blood um, of Jesus. Buddha can't do it. Uh, hallelujah. No other God can do it. Only Jesus' blood um, who died on Calvary. He died to set us free. What can wash away our sins? Oh, precious is the flow that makes us white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is that flow that makes us white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. I'm going to stay under the blood. I'm going to pray under the blood. I'm going to live under the blood. Amen. And the world can't do us no harm. It makes no sense, brothers and sisters, as I close out, to be all dressed up in white. Amen. On the outside. But within, our hearts are stone. Our hearts are stained. Amen. We're looking filthy on the inside. But we need to be clean. We need to be regenerated from the inside out and not the outside in. Amen. We can dress up in white all we want. But if our hearts are not right, have mercy. If we're dealing with evil and wickedness and we're dealing with uh, all types of sin disease what can wash away our sin nothing but the blood of jesus god bless you amen amen jesus blood removes the sin the stain of sin in our lives don't try nothing else it won't work hallelujah it won't work don't try nothing else oh it is jesus oh it is jesus oh it's jesus for i have touched the hem of his garment and his blood has made me whole. Amen. If I was a singer this morning, that's what I would say. Oh, it is Jesus. Oh, it is Jesus. It's Jesus in my soul. For I have touched the hem of his garment and his blood has made me whole. Someone is broken today. Someone is leaning on their own understanding. Someone is in a trouble and terrible way. But I present you Christ Jesus. Amen. As he said in his word, his blood is shed for the remission, for the removal of our sins. If you don't know him today, it pays to know Jesus. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. In truth. Jesus ascended up to heaven, but he's coming back. He's coming back looking for a church without a spot or blemish. Amen. We need to be spotless. We have to be found spotless. The only way you can be found spotless is through the blood of Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. God bless your heart. May the Lord bless each and every one of you as we continue to walk by faith, not by sight. Bless you, Minister Graham. Would you come and lead us in a word of prayer? 
Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood is our stain remover. Thank you for your blood, our stain remover. Thank you, O oh Lord. We, we look to you now, God, the only God that we know, oh God, that's got all power in his hand. Lord, we realize and we know that you are God and you're God all by yourself. We thank you for your word this morning, oh God, to, to remind us it's only your blood, only your blood can remove the stains. Oh God, the guilty stains that are on our lives today, God. We thank you, Jesus, for your message and we thank you for your messenger. Oh, we thank you for Reverend Hawkins, oh God, for allowing your spirit to dwell in him this morning, uh, that he may send your word out uh, to your people this morning, uh, clear and concise, oh God, uh, that we must believe that your blood uh, is the only blood, oh God. Uh, no blood from a dove, a bird, uh, or human, uh, no man's blood, uh, but it's only Jesus' blood uh, that can remove move our things oh god thank you god thank you lord for you are great and awesome god oh god we thank you for everyone on the line this morning we ask you to cover us with your blood oh god restoring our pastor what he's poured out oh god oh god keep him covered under your blood oh god Keep his spirit connected with yours. Uh, oh, God, we ask a hand on his family this morning, God. Uh, on his children, oh, God. Continue to bless one by one and, and name by name. Uh, you know what they stand in the need of, God. Uh, thank you, Father. Oh, God, his mother, his father, his aunt, his uncle. Oh, God, bless the family, oh, God. Uh, oh, God, when somebody's blessed in the family, the whole family must be blessed. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, thank you for our officers and our members, oh God. Uh, bless them one by one, name by name. Those that are going through sickness, oh God. Uh, those that are, oh God, that has lost loved ones, oh God, uh, that need to be comforted this morning, God. Uh, only you are the comfort, oh God. Uh, no man or no woman uh, and no words can comfort like you, God. Oh, God, just a touch uh, from the hem of your garment uh, will make us whole again, oh, God. Uh, oh, God, go with the Brian family. Oh, God, go, go with Sister Rosa Brian this morning. Uh, she lost her sister, oh, God. Uh, but absence from the body is present with you. Uh, thank you, Jesus, for the life uh, of her sister, oh, God. Uh, oh, God, we ask you to go with, uh, oh, God, those that are asking us for prayer this morning, God. Uh, Oh, God, oh, God, we know a little Jasmine, oh, God. We know you made her. You know all about her, God. She's asking, but what you've already given her to her, oh, God, is the ability, oh, God, to go wherever you send her. Oh, God, to achieve whatever you want her to receive. Oh, God, I claim it in the name of Jesus. I know her mother's looking down this morning, oh, God. Oh, thanking you, God, oh, God that you gave unto her, oh God, and you know all about it, and you got this, oh God. Thank you, Father. Go with our mothers and our children this morning, God. As they return back to school, God, give a covering of your blood stain all over them, oh God, so they will be covered from all evil. Oh God, put a fence around them so no weapon form against them will prosper. Thank you, Jesus, for you know all about them, God. For they walk in your path, oh God. We want to walk in your footsteps, oh God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Oh God, now that we remember, oh God, it's all about you, God. It's all about your son, Jesus. Oh God, some 2,000 years ago or more, oh God, that he was taken to Calvary Cross. They nailed him to a tree, oh God. They put a thorn of crowns on his head. Oh, God, they passed him in his side. He never said a mumbling word. For all the sins of the world, he died. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. But we want to remember his broken body tonight, Jesus, this morning, Jesus. We want to remember, oh, God, his spilled blood, oh, God. 
We don't want to ever forget, oh God, what you've done for us, oh God, that you loved us so much, oh God. Oh, God, that you bear our sins and we don't have to bear them. Thank you, Jesus, uh, that we have a right, to oh God, uh, to the tree of life, uh, that we have a right to eternal life. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. So we, we take this bread, oh, God. Uh, oh, God, that's the common, oh, God. Uh, can you please, oh, Father, with our humble prayer, turn it into a spiritual, oh, God, so that we receive it uh, and remember, God that you loved us so much uh, and all these blessings uh, we ask in the name of god in the name of the father in the name of the son in the name of the holy ghost it is in jesus name we pray and we all the people say amen amen and amen thank you lord thank you jesus thank you god thank you thank you father and as they were eating jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and said take gave it to the disciples and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying drink ye all of it for this is my blood of the new testament which is shed for many for the remission of sin but i say unto you i will not drink henceforth for this fruit of the vine until that day when i drink it anew with you in my father's kingdom paul later went on to road he said as often as you do this do it in remembrance of me let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh in an unworthy manner, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. And brothers and sisters, as we prepare our hearts and minds to receive the Lord's supper, let's not forget what he did on Calvary. Jesus dying for sin, but not his own. He died that we can be reconciled back with the Father. So as we partake now of the bread, as we hold it up together, let us eat together. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, let us eat together. And then the cup, the blood that was shed on Calvary, Jesus' blood. We thank God for his blood, his saving blood, his healing blood. He said, drink ye, drink ye all of it. Amen. Let us drink together. Remembering what Jesus did for us on Calvary. Let us drink ye all together. I, I know it was the blood. Oh, I know it was the blood. No, it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died on the cross. I know it was the blood for me yes he's coming back again he's coming back again he's coming back again for me one day when i was lost jesus died on the cross i know it was the blood for me god bless your heart we have done what the lord has commanded us to do we have left two ordinances on record for the church to do until he returns that's baptism and commemorance of the Lord's Supper. So we have done what the Lord has required us to do. And now we can go forth, amen. We don't have a mountain of olives, but we do have a mountain of trials and tribulations that awaits us, amen. We have a mountain, brothers and sisters, of, of, of life storms that shall come our way, but take the Lord with you. And as I always say, whether I was you, with you in present, I'm still with you, amen. When we go forth, have a spirit that if I can help somebody, as I pass along, if I can cheer someone with a word of song, if I can show someone where they're traveling wrong, then our living shall not be in vain. So we thank you this day. Take the Lord with you. And now unto him was able to keep you from falling, present you falling before the presence of his glory with exceedingly joy. You know, wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power both now and forever. And the people of God said, Amen. 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 God bless you. Go in Amen. 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 Amen.
Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Beautiful. Thank you, Sister Brenda K. Enjoy your holiday, everyone. God bless you. Yeah. Everyone be safe through the holiday. Yeah. Be safe, everyone. God bless you. Beautiful. 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 I miss you. God bless each and every one of you. Be safe out there. the ground. Thank you. Bless you, brother. Bless you. Instagram. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you, Minister Graham. Bless you. 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 Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless Thank you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. I will be calling you.
don't know this. Ocean Chosen. Hey.